What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Magic once again. Uh, I got my son with me, so if you hear him talking, just disregard that. But let me tell you my vocal chain for this tutorial. Yeah, here you go, by the way. See, he's uh, he won't take a nap, so I have to do what I have to do. So, people, a lot of people been asking me about my vocal chain uh, when I'm tracking vocals in Pro Tools or FL Studio, and uh, let me show you guys what I do. All right, people. As you see over here in this, uh, first of all, my audio interface is a Universal Audio Apollo Twin. I have been using this for at least about two to three years, and it has been, man, it's been wonders in my home studios and just recording and tracking people and using their plugins too. It's, it has been amazing. So, disregard my son. I think he's using the restroom. Sorry. <laughs> um. But like I said, I've been using this for years and I love it. So uh, in the near future, I will be upgrading and getting the Apollo X6 or something like that, like a real great audio interface for my, uh, I just, just some, some of I happen to one of those in, in your studio. Just, I want to, I want to kind of like a hybrid setup so I can take it on the road and everything. So yeah, I, I like that setup. But anyway, like I said, I use uh, some, most vocals I track with a, I use a, a unison preamps which I love by uh, Universal Audio so that's one good thing I love so I use uh, this UA610 uh, B it's good oh my gosh it gives I feel like it gives a different type of color to your vocals when, when you just processing them from just recording them and then live them to your doll and for I have two setups um, I, I always use some kind of, of auto-tune or some kind of pitch correction on people's vocals as well and I use this LA-2A so compressor try to make sure the dynamics are good coming out and you have nothing too low and nothing too high it's pretty even all the way and I add a studer a little modulation to the vocals which give it a little uh, take some of that digital edge off make it more analog and, and saturate a little bit and on this other um, mic set up uh, set up i have i have a neve if you don't know about neve preamps i suggest you um i can give you uh a link to the information about neve preamps but yeah those are those are nice <laughs> and then more i can say about that and i like i said i have a uh, auto tune pitch correction on there and i have this manly vox box i know you're thinking why are you using a vox box and pitch correction that takes up a lot of DSP it does but what I do is I don't use both of them at the same time <laughs> normally I try to get that grit or, or the, the the flavor or color that the Vox Box gives and after that I, I, I auto-tune my vocals inside the dog he's, he's, he's happy he wants to be famous <laughs> Like I said, I use that and my Vox box. To turn the mic on, you hit this 48V button and it, tur it turns red, which lets you know, okay, whichever mic you have set up on this mic input, this second input is gonna be activated. Or, or... Like I said, that's that's just my vocal chain set up. That's why I do the track vocals. Um, you guys want to know more about my uh, why I chose the Universal Audio? Like I said, it saves CPU on my uh, dials as well if I want to use these plugins. But mostly I use a lot of Wave plugins and I just use them in a proficient way to where I'm not running too much CPU or using a lot of, uh, just a lot of uh, power, but I'm making a lot of progress with those. But like I said, this, this use DSP uh, is good for the same thing. It's good for just re reducing CPU on your computer and they have a lot of good plugins. Uh, if you if you haven't, I don't have a Mac, but I always wanted to try Luna. But from reviews I've been seeing, I I don't think Luna is ready yet, honestly. So I'll continue to do it the way I've been doing it. Um, <laughs> all right, people, that's it. I just wanted to let you know my vocal chain. Uh, I I got this question a lot. Um, and that yeah, let's go. See you next time, people.